Hold on a second. For those of you who just found out about the product, I got a cool trick for you. Check this out. So you can wash your unit a few times in cool water before you would need to reapply the product. That means you can also go for a swim and the product is not gonna be disrupted. Check that out. It's water resistant. Drenching in water and the product is not moving. We need to sort her out. Knots are not bleached, lace is not tint. I'm gonna make sure that the hair is laid nice and flat onto the mannequin head. Though I'm not gonna work around the hairline because I'm only gonna place the product in my parting space, I'm still gonna ensure that all the hair is taken away from the front hairline so I can go in as close as I want to. Next, I'm gonna take my 35 ml tube of the wick grid knot concealer in the shade Dan. I'm gonna place it into my cup, tip side down, and I'm gonna pour hot water into the cup. About three quarter of a cup of hot water. I'm gonna take my tube out of the hot water. And screw the cap, and you can see this glossy look on top. That's the look you're looking for. That means the wax is melted and it's ready to apply. The minute you take it out of the water, go straight into the application because it is a wax. It will cool down quickly and become solid again. Therefore, just work quickly. With the big tube, it's very quick. Your application is pretty much done within a minute. I did apply a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go ahead, hold the tube at an angle, and scrape off the excess, like so. When I'm working around the hairline, I wanna make sure that the product is not too soft, so it doesn't seep through too much. And I'm just gonna cover the tube up, take the cap, to just blend out the product. So I'm just taking my time to make sure it's nicely blended out. As you can see, the product is already dry, though it's not sticky or tacky. Essentially, it's a wax concealer. As you can see, there is no transfer of the product onto the mannequin head. So let's turn that over and get into the final two steps. Let me pin the unit into place. The next stage is just to take the back of your comb and gently blend out the product. The lace is covered, but you can still see the lace impression. So this is why you blend out the product on this side to make sure there's no impression of lace visible. This will leave your part looking like a nice, smooth, realistic looking part. Do not be scared to apply gentle pressure to blend out the product. Any transfer of product at this stage that gets onto the hair, you'll be able to clean up in the next step. Some people like to blend only straight into the part. I like to blend it out into the sides as well to make sure there's no weird line of demarcation. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. At this point, I'm gonna try to release the hair to be sure that it did not get stuck onto my mannequin. One way to prevent this, as you can see, none of the product is lifted, but if that ever happens, just um, fill in that area where the product is lifted from. One of the ways to avoid the product coming off during the blending stage is to make sure that allow it to cure for about three minutes, air dry, or you can use a, your blow dryer on cool function to go over it to make sure it's nice and cure before you blend it out. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. You guys ask me all the time which oil I use. I say you can use any light oil. 
I'm using lemon and sage and I just tip a little bit on my finger. Like I always say guys, the oil is not to go onto your hair. The oil is only to go onto the product. Yes, if you wanna put it on your hair, that's up to you, but it is not for your hair. So for those of you who are worried about how oily or greasy this may get, just apply the oil where the product is. This oil is to release any of your hair that got stuck into the product. It's to bring moisture into the product. It's just give you that healthy looking scalp. The product is breathable. You can see the oil is on the mannequin. Which is not sticky or tacky, not smudging, not rubbing, not bleeding. Beautiful scalp, not bleach, not tint.